camber is the tendency of any straight line to eventually curve. I'm going to explain why this is important to the machinability of plastic film, either in the printing and converting, or machinability in a vertical form fill seal, shrink machine, or what have you. As every golfer knows, if it goes right, it's a slice. If it goes left, it's a hook. If it goes straight, it's a miracle. Camber, also known as dishing, is caused by uneven gauge profile throughout the roll. To predict how a roll of film is going to behave on a machine, what we do is we unroll it for 40 to 50 feet along a straight line. Let's see what happens. If you were a pressman, you would have never put this blue film onto the press because you would be able to tell just by pressing and seeing the inconsistency along the web that it was going to track or dish. Let's see what happens with this white film. Maybe we'll get better results. And away we go. Now the film is completely rolled out. We've laid it out right next to the red line. But what we're looking for is to see how consistently the film tracks as far as being on a straight line. When the, film, when the film's just sitting here by itself, completely relaxed, if there's any dishing, it'll show up like it did on the blue roll. The graphics and flexible packaging are more sophisticated than they've ever been. Printing presses and laminators are running at faster speeds than ever as well. This particular package was probably made on a 10 color press. That means it would have 10 printing stations, and it would run probably at about 1,000 to 1,400 feet per minute. If there's any flaws in the film, they'll show up right away. Sophisticated graphics are ubiquitous. Take something as mundane as duct tape. Used to be just silver was all you had, then it was black. Now we have a proliferation of printed duct tape. Duct tape has three components, plastic film, scrim, and adhesive. The, the registration on this is very tight as well, just like on any flexible packaging. Like so many things, there's a lot that goes into making a good, flexible packaging. The film has to be right, the printing has to be right. You need to have good people who are artists making the film and doing the printing. Camber is just one aspect of the things that have to be right to deliver a good, flexible package.